and this contact tracing of those who have been contacts of the six people who tested positive for the new UK strain will be a mammoth task. Uma Sudhir has details because remember we reported a few days ago about how a woman from the Delhi airport had escaped and taken a train all the way to Andhra Pradesh even though she had tested positive. But Uma, now it emerges that she's one of the six who've actually tested positive after genome sequencing for the new strain as well. Yes, indeed. This is a 47-year-old woman who, in fact, landed at the Delhi airport on the 21st of December. So it's now more than a week now that, that she's been in India. And after testing positive, she was sent to the Safdarjang Hospital in Delhi, from where she was uh, reportedly told that she can uh, be under home quarantine. And that's when she decided to travel by a train, uh, AP Special Express, from there uh, to Andhra Pradesh, where, in fact, she was greeted by the health officials at the Kakinada uh, railway station, who took her to the hospital, and she and her... Uh, son were tested. Son is still uh, tested negative, but this uh, woman is um, one among the three at the Center for Cellular and Molecular Biology in Hyderabad who has tested positive for the new variant of the UK uh, vir uh, of the U new UK variant virus. Right. And uh, the contact tracing starts from the aircraft 21st December onwards mm -hmm. to the train journey to the Safdarjang uh, uh, hospital where she went. And uh, subsequently now uh, they're talking about of course, there are 1,400 others who had uh, come from UK to, the a to AP and at least 6,000 of them contacts who so were uh, once again traced and were all being put through these yes. kind of tests. So just Dr. as you pointed out, just this one case, because she travelled by train, how many contacts have to be traced? But of course, the good news is that her son has so far tested negative, so hopefully she hasn't actually infected so many people. Let's just track that situation. We'll update you.